Hello, and today I'm reviewing All You Desire by Kirsten Miller. This is the second book in the Eternal Ones series. And after reading this, I'm really, really hoping that there is a third. Okay, I had a lot of different thoughts on this book. Um, for one, I think the cover is much, much better than the first one. But here's the real kicker. I guess, like, when people read books and there's two male interests in it, most time they side with the good guy. Kind of like how we, well, the Twilight fans either had Team Jacob or Team Edward. Most people chose Edward, you know. But in this one, it was, it was so hard for me because... I totally get that she comes back life after life to be with Ian or whatever his name is and then there's Adam who is immortal and he waits for her to come back life after life and he really really loves her but at the same time like you know we all know he he's evil we know it. But he really does try in this book to become a better guy just for her. And even if it is just because he's madly, madly in love with her, I don't care. Any guy who's willing to change his entire outlook on life, it's just, it's crazy. It is. I mean, it's crazy. And then you find out in a past life that they were engaged because Ian or whoever you want to call him because he has too many different names where they're reincarnated all the time. You find out that he died and so she became engaged to Adam. And that part killed me. Okay, it just it did. It just killed me because they did they ended up they did not get married. And I'm not going to tell you what happened, but it's just I was really on Adam's side. I really felt bad for him. Especially in the end where he just lets her go. That just killed me. I mean, really, it killed me. I could not stand it. And, I mean, it just, it really bothered me. I just, I, I can't imagine loving anybody that much. Because, I mean, it is crazy. He really does love her. Which is sad and I think I'm one of those people that like I like to think that people can change so I really felt bad for him and I really wanted him to be with her so that he would become a good guy or a good person so anyway let's get to stars I give this obviously five out of five stars because it was just a mesmerizing mesmerizing book and it was just amazing and I loved it and I was just so so sad that Adam didn't get what he wanted but then at the end then at the end we have that big shock right there at the end the big cliffhanger at the end that kills me I really hope that she's writing a third novel to this because it would not be fair if she didn't I would be so mad so anyway, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't read this series. Like, this is the young adult series that I would recommend for the summer because it is amazing. Definitely read it. There's only two right now, so you have plenty of time to catch up in case she does write a third. I'm really hoping that she writes a third, but I haven't got, like, I've researched it and I cannot find out if there's going to be a third one or not. So, five out of five. My next review is... I'm a little bit behind. My next review is going to be on Rain Village by Carolyn Turgan. And I've already read it. So, it'll be coming on next. The two books that I'm working on right now that will probably be either tomorrow or later tonight is Ripple. And this is by Mandy Hubbard. And she is the author of Prada and Prejudice. I didn't mean to, but I picked up another mermaid-ish book. So, yeah. 
But this one's a young adult book, so I will be reviewing that soon. Also, we're kind of having a young adult thing here right now. I picked up Tiger's Promise by Colleen Hook. I think is how she pronounces it. Okay, this is a prequel. It's a novella. It's very, very short. So that will probably be reviewed on the same day as Ripple. But it just came in today. For those of you who don't know, you can only get a hard copy like this of Tiger's Promise through Amazon. It is the only place I believe it carries it right now. So if you're a fan of the series, you really, really need to pick this up from Amazon. Amazon. And it's not that bad. I think it's like $7 plus shipping and handling. So it's like 10 bucks. So like, comment, and subscribe. And that's what's going to be going on next.